So going into 2018, Dakar, I actually changed a lot of things in my professional life. You know, that, that was the first year, 2017, where I actually got help from professionals to help me train, help me with my food, so all of that. So there was a huge change from just being a guy that was winging it to a guy that became more professional. I think I did see it pay huge dividends because through the whole year I progressed and I did really well in the World Championship races. And I carried that with me, went to the Dakar. And in the Dakar, the first two days, the finish uh, 13th and then 28th was an incredible experience for me. While I was mostly a privateer, I raced also a privateer after my stint with TVS. I raced some rallies in India, the Red Dee, Malaya, the Desert Storm. All these uh, races I did on my own as a privateer. For me to actually land a ride on a factory team um, is something that anybody that aspires to be a professional, uh, that's the first thing that you want to do, you know, to be able to secure yourself a career in doing something that you love. So Hio has given me that opportunity to be a professional, not worry about anything else, but just to ride my motorcycle at, at the races around the world. For me, it's a dream job, you know, and I think that's been a big change from me being just a guy that wings it to a guy today that has uh, the resources to be able to have a professional team that helps me achieve my goals. Well, well my motorcycle is my vehicle and it's my means of expression and the biggest platform is the Dakar for me. So. In a sense, uh, you know, I have complete faith and trust in that motorcycle because without that bike, I cannot achieve those goals that I have. So, yes, we, but we've, we've worked really hard to have a motorcycle that's rock solid. So I'm happy with uh, where it's at. Okay, so the bike was last year was a new bike for the Dakar. And we just raced about two races and then we took it to the Dakar. So coming into this year, the bike, even though from, from the outside, Visually, it looks the same as what we raced last year. I, I, internally, there were, there been, there's been a lot of changes. And as a rider, you can feel that change more pronounced because now it's a much better handling bike. We're able to set up and arrive at a, at a setup that all of us are happy with. I think even in terms of power, we're able to get a little bit more out of the engine. And it's a lot more uh, rideable in terms of uh, being able to ride in the dunes with less effort. So I think there's huge changes to the bike and um, it should be able to translate into better days at the Dakar. As far as I can remember, I always wanted to do something uh, meaningful and productive in my life. And that is what I had when I was growing up as a kid. I love the bicycle, you know, so as a kid, you take the bicycle and you're a small little kid and the world looks like it's so big. But that bicycle allowed me to go see different places, not just around my house. So I carry that same spirit with me on a motorcycle. It's, it's, it's an avenue for me to be able to express myself. I don't think I ever saw myself as a racer. I wanted to be like everybody else in school. You know, software was a big thing. You know, Sabir Bhatia was from the same school that I went to. So when I graduated from school, I wanted to be like Sabir Bhatia. Unfortunately, the computers didn't take, take to me, you know, as much as the motorcycles did. So my career kind of went this way, but it's something that I found myself doing and it was not something that was instilled in me as a kid.